You see, Complex just put their list out, and Twenty One Savage is the is the. Oh yeah, Twenty One Savage is rapper of the year. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And really? after I thought about it, for twenty twenty two. Yeah. Go ahead. I love Twenty One Savage. I don't, no, I, I, I really want to hear this. Yeah. You want me to say it? Yeah. After the initial shock hit me, I wasn't the angriest at the take. Why? Way before that Drake album, the conversation for a long time was, yo, all right, he's smoking everything. He popping one. He's my favorite back from ever, the, by far. Back from around when Cole dropped, whenever that was. That wasn't 2020. I know. Nah, that was... I know. I'm talking about the length of the run and when that conversation started to surface for mm-hmm. me. It was, oh, shit, let's pay attention to him. He's killing every feature in the universe. Correct. He does. So then, he was on a mean feature run. Yeah, still is. Still is. is. Still yeah. is. Actually, still is. Correct. Yeah, so then he put out some shit. He went and got with some other niggas, put out some shit. All of this shit was like, he, he worked. He worked. And then to end it with that, with the Drake shit, which so, is arguably, arguably, for some people, the best rap album to drop. So then, I could understand that community of the blog sphere and the SoundCloud sphere, them saying 21 Savage had the best 2020. I would have thought Lil Baby. I was about to I say, just don't think he was on 2022. We're talking about 2022. Yeah. yeah. No. no way. Twenty twenty one, maybe twenty twenty one. So y'all agree then that he chilled can, out. If he if he's the number one of twenty twenty two, then you can you would agree with the rumor that future may be mad that him and Drake had an album together. That is what they are saying. They meaning Nori. Just, yeah. No, I mean like I no, 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 I no, no, no. It's from it's, Nori. It's from Nori. Oh well, it must have caught fire then. And Nori just left, so we know it's from him. <laughs> <laughs> he started that whole shit. <laughs> he did. That's why I like Nori, though. He'll say, he'll say the shit that is true that they talk about on the street. And then the funny shit is he was like, I ain't spoke the future. I ain't spoke the Drake. I ain't spoke the 21. That's just what they're saying, though. So he take it off of everybody. Nah, but right after he said that, he was like, but you know, future's heavy in Miami, and I forgot about that part. If you're heavy in Miami, Nori right. knows how you feel. It's true. Now, I don't know if that to be true, but if I'm guessing, and I want to guess. Yeah. I don't want the confirmation. I got it being true, too. I have it being true. I got it being true. Now, I'm not saying he's throwing a temper tantrum in his fucking new uh, eight-figure house. <laughs> he ain't saying, like, fuck But I think he I looked at his like phone that. with one of those meme faces. <laughs> like, oh, word. He looked at his phone like I looked at my phone when Flip was out there doing that. It was like... <laughs> I can see I, I that. take it to be true for numerous reasons. Y'all know I'm on record as not thinking that that I know that album was what a time to be alive. The didn't fuck with. I walk it back. There was a couple of slaps on there, but I hate that project. Okay, hate it, hate it, hate it. I, do, I stand in that. They both are better individually. I think Drake took whatever his experience was because they made that shit on tour bus. So when they was on tour, they was bugging out back then. Mm-hmm. I think with the 21 shit, Drake did it the way he would want to do it, which was, hey, help me with my rhyme. I'm going to help you with your rhyme. Hey, let my producer jazzy this up. Let us take. Let me take your best concept. Let me give you one of my best concepts. You rap over it. Like, they built that, and it sounds that way. You you disagree. You're the only one that disagrees. I'm that. not the only one that disagrees, believe it or not. Yeah. But it's also, a small community. That's, that's fine. But I don't think also, they collectively did that either. But I, I don't think they did that just looking at Again, I know a lot of y'all didn't like the fact that I took 21 off of that project. I took 15 minutes of rapping off of the project. He was, it's, it's not, it's very sprinkled in what he did. To, so it's not really, that future in Drake album, outside of the last two songs, they was did 50, those 50, records 50, yeah. together. Yeah, that is true. This was not a future, this was not a Drake in 21 project. It was Drake featuring 21 on a couple, like a little sprinkle in here and there. It was like 85, 15%. Mm. So I don't I don't take that as a joint project because I was able to pull them off pause and it still sounds like a complete project. I understand that take, but I have the total opposite take on it. While sonically, of course, the masses you hear Drake all over that thing, but I can hear where Drake wasn't doing Drake. I can hear that. I can hear where Twenty One Savage's presence and influence made Drake do something different than he would try on a Drake album. So even if 21 is not on the verse or on this hook or on this song, I can hear it. I hear the togetherness. And in the, in the future project, I hear, I hear no togetherness, even though they were together on, on tour. 
None of it. I heard, you give me your six greatest songs, I'm going to put my six or five songs, and that's going to be our project. Big Money Play, Epic is Happy, Universal is Happy, we out here. This shit, they actually promoted together, thought and thought into it. Hey, let's spoof everything. They was, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they rolled it out. But whatever, I'm off it. I still like the project. I like my version. Me too. New Joe Biden.